Mr. Montgomery. Excuse me, Miss Colby. Your secretary told me I could find you here. Well, my secretary is usually right. I had an appointment, but unfortunately it was canceled. Well, maybe you could spare me a few minutes. I'd love to. What do you say we should wait over here? Thank you. Uh -huh. Dr. Jonathan Kinder, I understand, has been arrested. My news department was trying to get a statement from the police, but they weren't very forthcoming. What is it you want to know? Well, for starters, why he was arrested. I mean, was he charged? Is it serious? Did he confess to something? Why are you so interested in Jonathan Kinder? Did you ladies dish me while I was gone? We were talking about men. My favorite subject. Half of them are grubby toad, the other half are lying cheap. Oh, you poor dear, you've never been lucky in love. How I loathe men who deceive women and gentlemen. Who curdled your cream? I mean, aside from Jonathan Kinder. positive you want to get back with Dimitri. Why on earth would you ask me such an outrageous question? You know nothing of my relationship with Dimitri. I know enough. Based on what? On that, that scene at the police station? Your ex likes to throw his weight around. No, he doesn't. I mean, maybe under the direst of circumstances, some women are into being rescued. And you'd rather be co-tagged in body bags? Have it your way. Dimitri's a hero. Let's give him the keys to the city. Throw a ticker tape parade. Excuse me, where do you get off at having a judgment about anything or anyone? I mean, as a matter of fact, you were ready to kill Kinder. You, you stabbed him with that hypodermic needle. Ah, that's it, isn't it? Dimitri stole your thunder. You know, not all men are like Jonathan Kinder. Some of them can be... Gentle and loving and kind. You two want to believe in fairy tales? Fine. But the boogeyman's going to get you if you don't watch out. Sage advice from a woman who cannot even remember her own zip code. Your memory, is it getting any better? It's coming back in fits and starts. I'll be walking the grounds on my father's estate, and out of nowhere I'll remember a holiday dinner or a face from the past. Rechercher le temps perdu. Sky? Earth to sky, what is it? Something's coming back to me. Something big. My interest in Dr. Kinder is purely professional. Of course it is. A local story with national repercussions. <laughs> it's a station manager's dream. Or maybe a station manager's nightmare. I saw you and Kinder with your heads together down at police headquarters. Yeah, well, I got the scoop of the decade. Then you don't need me, do you? Or do you? Do you want to know about Kinder? All right, I'll tell you. Kinder's been charged with multiple felonies, and anybody that withholds information, and I mean anybody, is going to be considered an accessory either before or after the fact. Now, given this knowledge, is there anything you'd like to tell me, Liza? I'm in television. Yes, I'm well aware of you. The worst I can be accused of is pandering to the audience. No, I think the worst you can be accused of is the occasional televised homicide. Laurel's death was a tragic accident. Yes, indeed it was. Well, we all make mistakes, don't we? Some of us more than our fair share. Jonathan Kinder, for example. How much do you know about his extracurricular activities, I wonder? Not much. I was hoping you could fill me in. <laughs> Now we're kind of talking in circles, aren't we? No, actually, I just wanted the whole story. It would be a real coup for WRCW to scoop the national press and all. Small frog makes big ripples. Frog. Well, I have been called worse. Let me ask you a question. The November election is coming up. Are you planning on running for the DA seat? Mm, I don't think I have any comments. Publicity could help you in the polls. We could do an interview for the 10 o'clock news. We could be your media allies. 
Well, it's very kind of you, but I already have plenty of friends in low places. Surely you could tell me something about Dr. Kinder, off the record. How far back in Kinder's past are they searching? Who was the third woman he held captive? I mean, if you could just tell me her name, maybe she would be interested in telling us her story. Sky, describe what you saw. Close your eyes and concentrate. It's the blonde. The one you mentioned before? Who is she? What's her name? Lisa? Lisa? Lisa who? I, I don't know. Well, is she a friend? No, probably not. Uh, an enemy. You must have loads to choose from. She has some connection to Kinder. A uh, patient? <sighs> Poor thing, her brain is atrophied right along with her muscle tone. That's not much help. I am only stating the obvious. If Sky doesn't get her memory back, we will never get the evidence we need to crucify Kinder. With a savvy lawyer, he could be out on the streets next week. And there's no way in hell he's going to get off with a slap on the wrist. He's going to suffer. Big time. Then it's up to you, Sky. Deposited somewhere in your memory bank is all the information we need to put Kinder away for life. We just need you to put the pieces of the puzzle together. Believe me, I won't rest till the last piece is in place. For dinner tonight. Maybe pheasant under broken glass. <laughs> pheasant under broken glass. Followed by a Molotov cocktail. And I hope a nice big arsenic sundae for dessert. Oh, what fun we would have scraping them off the ceiling. <laughs> I just remembered something else. What? what? I hate asparagus. Look, what about this Lisa person? Who is she? I'm not sure. I think I hated her, too. I'm sorry, Liza. I'm afraid all the details surrounding Kinder's arrest are going to have to remain confidential, pending further investigation. Further investigation? Yes. You know, like witnesses, accomplices. Anything I can lay my hands on to make sure that man spends a long, long time making license plates up in the States. Something wrong? Uh, oh, sir. You haven't helped so much. Thank you. Wake her up. Jonathan? She's dead. She's dead. Tony. Sky. Tony, Sky, Sky, Tony, any combo of the above. You were the, the third woman. It's you. To my knowledge, I have never even played second fiddle, let alone third. It's, it's impossible. Anything's possible and usually is. Look, you have the advantage here. Uh, you know me, but I'm having trouble putting your name to your face. Have our paths crossed before, or has my sort of little tail of woe actually hit the airwaves? You do look familiar, especially around the eyes. Where do I know you from? What's the deal? I was afraid you'd fallen in. I didn't realize you two knew each other. realize you were acquaintances. Well, she knows me. I gave her quite a jolt. She fainted dead away. Are you all right? Uh, I'm sorry. I haven't eaten. Forgive me for being blunt, but where do we know each other? Uh, who are you? It's Liza Colby. Liza Colby. I don't ring any bells. No, I doubt you two have met. I mean, you left my valley way before you came on the scene. Did your mother ever tell you it's not polite to stare? I'm sorry. It's just, uh, 
meeting you in here. Liza knows exactly who you are. Miss Nose for News is scoping out a story. You're a reporter? I work in a television station. I work for your father. Who are you? Don't talk to her, Sky. Anything you say may be taken out of context and used on the 6 o'clock news. In fact, her flunkies have been hounding Erica all day. Is that how you make your living? By exploiting the suffering of others? Oh, you don't know the half of it. Take my advice. Give Ms. Colby a wide berth. Janet doesn't like you. It's a long story. Yeah, we'll save it. When I'm ready to tell mine, I'll call Barbara Walters. Jonathan lied. No, I didn't kill anybody. I'm not a murderer. It was you. You're the blonde. I remember you. You told me Tony was dead. She looked dead. There was still a pulse. Strong and steady. How could I be so stupid? You trusted the good doctor. Butcher of the East Side Treatment Center. So what a loser. Me? Sky Chandler's gonna bring me down. Then I'll have you for company, Eliza. Won't I? Typical. You'd incriminate your own mother to save your skin. State's evidence. Who'd believe you? I'll tell the truth. I had an accomplice. You. You took advantage of me. I'll spend six months at a barbed wire country club and you'll do hard time. I didn't lock Tony up. I didn't kill Christopher. Tony, Sky, her testimony is going to bring you down. Sky, her memory's less than dependable. There are corroborating witnesses. Oh, yes, Janet Green, that's right. Now, what do they say about witnesses living in glass houses not swinging crowbars? And Erica. A drug addict. Thanks to you. And a woman scorned. <laughs> Erica? I have never known you to pass on a woman with an excellent credit rating. And I will testify to that one. Go ahead, Liza. Testify. Open yourself up to cross-examination. I guess you have hired a shark who is eager to defame me. The voracious Saul Friedrichsen of Moss and McLean, a hammerhead shark. Impressive. Does he know that your trial has already begun in the court of public opinion? The media is going to bury you. I'm shaking in my bed. Well, I'm airing a retraction. On that puff piece you ordered from me? I'll sue. WRCW will go gavel to gavel with your public humiliation. It'll be a blockbuster. Why don't you just top that one, John? I will, Liza. I most certainly will. Ian should be here by now. Would you happen to know what's keeping him? Oh, I forgot. You're not speaking. Isn't it obvious, Jonathan, this isn't her scene? What are you going to do? Escort her to the concerto on your furlough? What will Betsy and Binky think? We don't care what Betsy and Binky think. Well, I know my mother. Consider yourself dumped. Oh! Could you hold this, please? Ah, red wine, baguettes and brie, darling. How the French mend the ailing heart. Shouldn't have. You know, that uh -huh. cute guard insists on frisking me, darling. You hardly look must. I gave him some chocolate and bargained up to a strip search. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, darling. What are you doing? I'm ministering. Do, do you know what he's done? I've heard all about it, darling. It's all lies. Mother, he's going to jail. He's a murderer. Jonathan, what is she doing here? This is my ambush interview, courtesy of the cutting edge. Well, darling, if his health fails again, it's on your head, Liza. How could you be this stupid? I am not stupid. Oh, no, you're desperate. Is this really necessary? Look, ignore her, darling. Hormonal imbalance. You know, she's fighting her condition all the way. Excuse me. I am not pregnant. Are you sure? And if I were, Mother, why don't you keep your mouth shut? Why don't you keep yours shut? 
You're spreading lies about a decent man, Liza. Mother, he's going to exploit you. He's going to abuse you. Don't you realize you're in danger? Yes, yeah, I'm in danger of breaking free, of being happy for the first time in my entire life. Oh, I can't watch this happen. You know, where did this uh, mother hen complex come from, Liza? I let you make your own mistakes. Yeah, you did. I just hate these confrontations. You handled it brilliantly. But I feel like such a, a failure. I mean, how could I have raised such a, a cold-hearted child? Jealousy is human. Marion, we're soulmates. Some people never find theirs. My love is transforming. You know, Liza could learn. She's too busy destroying lives. Well, I could help her. Time is precious. Don't invite trouble. You're alone in my corner now. <laughs> I'm not going anywhere, darling. I tell you, my strength is back. Now, you have our passports, right? Oh, yes, they're in my purse. Uh, but are we leaving so soon? I thought you were on board. Well, I am. Jackson Montgomery is breathing down my neck. But, I mean, we can stall him. I have friends here. There's no time, Mary, and the future is now. Dr. Crater, this is Liza Colby. Uh, about the test... I, I was just wondering if you might be able to refer me to a doctor in New York. I have business there. Oh, come on. <laughs> it's a legitimate question. What was the first thing you ever bought? Uh, uh, I think a No, fair. Yeah. Come on. Let's, you guys tell me. Um, dancing queen. Baba? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey, Trent. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, the pain was under control. I just uh, wanted to be uh, safe rather than sorry. <laughs> 